Amazon PPC search term reports. This is something that Amazon offers you for free to analyze the performance of your PPC campaign. Like are they performing good or performing bad? And you can just utilize these search term report in many ways. Like you can just find out all of those keywords which are performing best and all of those keywords which are performing poor. So later you can just add or delete all of those keywords which are good or which are bad from your PPC campaign. So in that way, by doing this, you can just fine tune your PPC campaign and get the max results out of that PPC campaign, which you're running right now. So in this video, I'm going to be covering each and every detail about Amazon PPC search term reports, how you can download them, how you can actually use them to analyze your PPC performance and how you can actually utilize them to make your PPC performance better. So if you are totally relying on your PPC campaign to get sales on your Amazon product, then this video is a must watch for you. Because the method which I'm going to be teaching you in this video today will going to be super helpful for you, will save a lot of your time and you can just get some useful data about your PPC campaign. But before getting started, I'm Uzair and I run multiple online businesses like Amazon, eBay, Shopify, affiliate marketing and YouTube that gives me financial freedom and allow me to travel the world without having any worry of 9 to 5 job. So if you also want this freedom to working remotely from anywhere in the world, then make sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more about online earning for free. And if you are confused at where to start, then you can just simply visit the link ways to sell online.com slash start. So you can just find some useful material from there and get a complete roadmap from where to start. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon Seller Central right now and here I have just opened Amazon reports. So here you can see that from the 1st of December till today, like 13 January, this is my 45 day sales, like 1166 units sold and the total revenue was $38,787. So if I just filter out the sales from 1st January till now, like for the past 13 days, so the sales were very good like around $5,600. So you can see that the PPC campaign are performing good. That's why I'm getting good sales on this account. So if I just go on my PPC dashboard, so here you can see that if I just uh, filter out from January 1st to 13 January, so here you can see that the PPC spend was $732. And against that spend, I actually got 54 orders from PPC and rest are organic. And here the A cost is 36, which is not good, but not bad. And if I just click on this ad metrics, so you can see that the click through rate is super good. Like most of the people who actually click on my listing purchase. So you can see that I got 662 click CTR, which is called click through rate is 1.27%. So now let me show you like how I utilize Amazon search term report to get these type of results from Amazon PPC campaign. So if you also want to download that report, so first of all, you need to go on your PPC campaign and from here on the left dashboard, you need to find the second last button, which is called measurement and reporting. So when you click on that, so another menu will open and from that menu, you need to click on this sponsored ad reports. So when you click on that, so here you can see that Amazon PPC is allowing you to run the report, to create the report as per your requirement. So from here, if you want to download that report, you need to click on create report. And here it will ask you like what type of report you want. So from here, you need to select like for which type of campaign you want to download report. So in this case, I only want to download report from my sponsored campaign because I'm not running brand or display campaign on this account. So I just need to click on sponsored product. And from here, report type, Amazon is asking me here like which type of report I want. So if I click on here to see multiple options, so in my opinion, the number one option search term and the number four option campaign is very good option. So you can just download both report one by one, once by clicking on search term and second by clicking on campaign. So in that way, in search term report, you'll be able to see all of those sales which you got against any search term. And in the second report, you'll get all of those sales which you are getting from which campaign. So the both of the report will be useful for you. So you can see which campaign is performing good and which is performing bad. And the same for the search term, like for which search term you are getting sales or from which search term or keyword you are not getting sales. So let's just click on search term. And here in time unit, you just need to click on this summary, not daily sales. And in the report period, it's up to you. If you want to download for seven days, you can just select seven days. Or if you want to download for any particular date range, you can just select that date range. But in my case, I just need the data for 30 days. So I just click on 30 days. And here, if I go down, I can just give this file any name. Or if you don't want to give the name, you can just leave it as default. And here in schedule time, I just need to click on now because I want this file to be downloaded now. So after filling this form, you just need to click on this run report button on the top right corner. So when you click on this run report button, this report will run. And after a couple of minutes, when you click on this run report again, you will be able to see your report here. You can see that the report is completed. And from this right button, you can just click on this button and download that report. 
So here I have already downloaded that report and opened that report into Google Sheets. So here you can see that it is representing me the data into a very beautiful form from which I can just see the sales, I can just see from which campaign this sales I got and from which keyword I got this sale. So you can see that these are the column like date, the portfolio, currency, campaign name, targeting and here if I go forward I can see the total impression I got on this date from this campaign and the total clicks and the total sales. So you can see that this is the ACOS column and if I go further forward I can see the total number of units order in 7 days from this campaign. So here you can see that in 7 days this campaign bring me 10 sales, this bring me 11 sales, 10, 10, 8, 6 and so on. So now here at this point it's up to you. It's up to your MS Excel skill like how you use this sheet by utilizing the data by putting some filters here by sorting from A to Z or low to high and grab the data of your choice. So for example if I just go on left and I can see here there are different campaign like this data from row number 2 to row number 17 is from this campaign and after row number 17 you can see that this data is for another campaign. For example if I only want to see the data from this campaign so from here I can just put the filter and I can just filter out this campaign which I don't want. So to apply the filter you need to find the filter button here you can see that create a filter and if I click on create a filter you can see that on all of the columns I can find the filter button here. So for example for this column D I need to filter out some campaign like I only want to see the data which this campaign bring me like bath bomb log kit exec but not from this campaign. So I just need to click on this filter and here I can just click on clear. And then I can just click on this bath bomb long tail exec. So if I click on this name and then click on OK. So you can see that I will be only able to see the campaign data which is from this campaign not from any other campaign. So in this way you can just put some filters. You can just sort the data from orders from A cost from high to low or low to high and get the maximum data out of that report which you can utilize to improve your Amazon PPC campaign and get a lot of lot of sales. So if you want to learn more about Amazon PPC campaign in detail like how I achieve this kind of result so you can just go on my YouTube channel and click on playlist and here you just need to click on Amazon playlist and on that playlist you can find many of the videos I created in past in which I explain you each and everything in detail about Amazon PPC. So go there watch that video and start improving your Amazon FBA sales. So that's it for today guys I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well so you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video till then take care bye.